time to get up so we can drive and go to daddy. Judah just said, take a picture of my fart. Hi. Hi. <gasps> Judah, who is that? Happy Thursday. We are in a hotel room. Today is actually our second day on the road traveling back to California from Texas. Right now we're in somewhere, somewhere in New Mexico. I don't know where we are. But it's our second day of driving. I didn't vlog the first day, but I'm gonna vlog today. We've got Judah in bed still sleeping. I actually need to wake him up and get him changed so we can go. Look at how much space he takes in a king size bed. He takes up the whole bed. The sun came back. You want to get in the car and drive and go back to see daddy? Yeah. It's time to get up so we can drive and go to daddy. <laughs> it's so exciting. Judah, where are we going? To daddy's house. We are wanting to get some breakfast. Oh, right. Can I get the breakfast bag? Thank you. Anything else for you? Yeah, can you get a pancake with milk? Yes, ma'am. Plain pancakes? Yes. You got some pancakes. So they have continental breakfast, but because of COVID, they have to do basically like a menu. You order what you want and they hand it to you like pre packaged. Like I got the breakfast bag, so it has granola bar, fruit, pastry, and yogurt. All right, we're officially on the road. Asher is already asleep. Judah, are you doing good? Yep. You ready to see daddy? Yeah. Okay, let's drive and go see him. And now Judah's asleep. That did take off. Oh, sorry. First pit stop of the trip. We're in Arizona now. We actually lasted quite a while, like probably four hours driving. He slept the whole time. Judah slept almost the whole time, so that was pretty impressive. And now poor Judah's trying to climb over the seat. I'm sorry, baby. Do you need help? Yes. Okay, here. She's stuck. Here. You got it. You got it. You got it. Lift that leg. Oh, you are flexible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go. Good job, bud. Lucas is gonna be so happy because I found him some goodies. This is Lucas's favorite soda and we can't find it anywhere in Los Angeles. So he'll be happy that I bought him a couple. I go go there. Judah's got a whole bakery back here. Yes. What are you making? The like squishy yes, bakery things. Okay. Looks it's yummy. Here. Okay. Are you making cakes and pies? Brownies. Brownies? It was good. Yeah. Do you have ice cream? Yes. Okay, it's ready. It's ready? We're ready oh, to eat. That looks yummy. Here, Mommy. Thank you. Delicious. Give it to me. I'll give it back to you. And try that one. I'll try this piece. No? We're stopped now in Phoenix. And one thing I love about this area is they have my very favorite gas station, Quick Trip. And I'm going to go get my very favorite energy drink that they make here called Rooster Rooster. I'm excited, I'm gonna stock up. Lunchtime, got some Panda Express, and the boys are sharing a grilled cheese sandwich. How's your sandwich? It was good! Yay! I feel really bad for Asher because pretty much the whole two days the sun has been in his eyes. I keep trying to put up a blanket to cover it, but it just keeps falling or he'll pull it down. I don't know what to do. Judah, I have a surprise for you. Can I have a it? A fortune cookie. I need it. Okay. Nice that 
this trip because yesterday he didn't sleep at all on the drive. So today he's sleeping a lot. Okay, we're at another truck stop. And one thing that we've been doing on this trip is when we go into a public bathroom, we've been coming back and before we get into the car, we spare our shoes with a sanitizer. <laughs> so that we don't get the car all, oops, sorry. My balance is bad. <laughs> we don't get the car all icky from uh, the public bathrooms. <laughs> for restaurant just windows. Just feet. Down, now they're all splayed out the window. I want to see your face. No, I don't want to see your face. Alright, your face. So much cuter. There it is. There it is. No, not your butt. I don't want to see your butt. I'm going to draw you in a bitch. Alright, you got me. Judah just said, take a picture of my fart. Gross. Dinner time, Judah. I have meal. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. It's not good? Mm, yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Forgotten about you. Do you need some help, buddy? Mm, I was, I was. Okay, 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 okay. 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 We, we're trying to, we're trying to get me out there. We're trying to get me out there. Get your daddy. I was, I was trying. I was trying to get in the car, but you don't have to be in the car anymore. Yeah, but give him a hug. I was trying. Did you miss it? Oh, dang it. Hi, buddy. Hi. How are you? It was, it was good. You have a good trip? Yep. Yeah, good car ride? Yep. All right, we're home, obviously, as you saw. Not only has this been the longest that I've gone without seeing Lucas, it's the longest I've gone without seeing my baby, Bazzi, my dog. So I need to go see him and say hi. I hope he remembers me. Oh. Bazzi! Hi! Do you remember me? Hi, baby! Okay, so I'm back in California now with him. We are not separated or getting divorced. <laughs> no. No, we're not. So I thought we should explain to you all, because I feel like we didn't really talk about it much, but I feel like we should explain why I went to Texas for like six weeks and left you behind. Yeah. And took the kids. Yeah. The reason why I left for so long was because, well, basically just because I wanted to visit my family. I don't have a job that restricts me from visiting my family. He does, especially after the whole COVID thing, it kind of makes you rethink your priorities and kind of makes you miss your family and such. And so I wanted to spend that time with my family. And plus he's been working from home, which we live in a very small space. Yeah. We have two young rambunctious boys <laughs> and about, would you say half your job or more than half your job is on the phone? At least half is phone calls and meetings in the same room where two boys are playing, watching cartoons and eating lunch and being loud. So that was stressful for him. It was stressful for me because all day long, five days a week, I'm trying to keep two young boys quiet, which is impossible. And it's not fair to them. They don't understand what's happening. But just to kind of like give us both a break from all of that stress. Uh, so we just thought it'd be best to take the boys to a different space, a mm -hmm. different house that has a backyard, which we do not have here they could play and be as loud as they want and just have a good time with the grandparents so it was kind of like a, a mental break for both of us and 
See, rambunctious. Yeah. <laughs> it was just a good, you know, it was a good idea for both of us. It had nothing to do with our marriage. It's interesting because I didn't even really think about how you guys would take it or how even people we know would take it that I was leaving for an unforeseen amount of time. <laughs> yeah. But then when you stop and think about it, you're like, oh, wait, that could look bad. Like, yeah, well, I'm it, leaving. Yeah, and it was weird when I had to explain, like, to people at church, like what we were doing. It's like, oh yeah, Chelsea's going away. She's going to her parents' house. And I'm taking the kids. And taking the kids. And they're like, oh, well, when is she coming back? Assuming vacation. And at the time there was no, it was like, as long as she wants to, because whatever, like wh why not? But then when I would tell them that like, oh, yeah, I don't know exactly when she's coming back. Like as it's coming out of my mouth, I'm like, this doesn't sound good. This. This sounds like something is going on. And on that note, the baby's crying, so we better go. <laughs> Thanks for watching this vlog, you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. See ya.